Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 756.5. This is the second part to uh, 756. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, seven, uh, Excel Magic Trick 756 to 758, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, uh, the first video we just had a template here, date, that's the beginning of the month, and on each sheet we had a date. And in our last video, we saw how to create sequential dates based on the date on this first sheet. But oh, look, we have sales and a total. Each sheet has the, uh, the, the total in cell A11. And so what we'd like to do is add all these except for we want to exclude Saturday and Sunday sales. We only want Monday through Friday. Now, I, again, just like the last video, I only have seven sheets here. You could easily have 31 for the whole month or whatever number you'd like. All right, let's come over here. Uh, first, we're going to look at the weekday function. Now, let me just remind you of how the weekday function works. It's great. It looks at serial numbers. And you give it a serial number comma and in 2010 there's this great drop down you put in whichever number and it will assign a number we want Monday 1 through Sunday 7 so I'm gonna put a 2 here alright and all it does is it'll give us those uh, num numbers no matter what right I could put um, 1228 here right oops how about uh, 27 and because it's a Monday, it gives us a 1. So it's a way of looking at these, ser these dates or serial numbers and just giving us a constant number for which day of the week it is. All right, um, let's come over here. That's weekday. Now what we'd like to do is be able to have the weekday function look at each date. Now notice the problem here is each all of these dates are on different sheets. Each sheet is a different date with a different total here. Let's just see what would happen we could, if we tried a 3D cell reference. A 3D cell reference, serial number, we click on the first sheet, click on this because we'd like a range of values. This is going to be an array formula. Now to highlight all of the sheets and get all of the A2s on each sheet, you hold Shift and then click on 7. Right? You can see that's called a 3D cell reference, all the A2s on sheets 1 to 7. Right? And then we could type comma 2, uh, close parentheses, and then uh, enter. The problem is weekday, like so many functions, are not allowed to have 3D references. Right? I actually have a list down here. There's a great, this site right here gives us a list of all the functions that actually handle uh, 3D cell references and nowhere in that list is weekday. So we have to do something different here. That's our problem that's going to lead us to actually use indirect function and subtotal. Uh, if you look, read this post, this, this whole trick is based on a great post Dominique did here. He used this subtotal trick inside of an indirect inside of the average function. I'm just going to add in this one so we're not going to do averages. All right. So what do we do? Weekday. Well, I'm going to delete this. Actually, I'm going to move this down here just to keep it so if anyone downloads this, they can uh, see all the steps. All right, so let's look at the um, indirect function. Indirect function. Oh, what does indirect function do? Well, it takes re uh, references stored as text and converts them back to references. Now, look at this. I put the sheet names here. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. If you have them actually numbered, the days 1 to 31 or 1 to 7 like I have, you don't have to do this trick. So I'm going to show you, show you two ways here. But this, is, this method will allow us to take the sheet names from the cell. So I'm going to highlight this. Oh, but first. These are the sheet names, but when you do a sheet reference, if you want to be safe, you've got to put an apostrophe. So really, the sheet reference for this one would be single apostrophe one, single apostrophe explanation point, and then the cell reference. So watch this. We're going to simulate this. We're going to do double quotes, single apostrophe, double quotes, and then the join symbol, uh, shift seven, which is the ampersand. All right, and then I'm going to highlight this whole range here. This is going to be an array, so this will give me all the sheet uh, names. And now I have to join the stuff at the end. Um, double quote, single apostrophe, explanation point. That The explanation point says, hey, I'm a sheet reference. Technically, if you have these names here, 1 through 7, you don't need that single apostrophe. The single apostrophe is for sheet references when there are uh, spaces. All right, so 
we need the cell. And if you remember over on this sheet over here, every one of these sheets in A2 is our date. All right, and then we have to end double quote. So all of this junk right here, that single apostrophe all the way to A2 is in the double quote. And over here, just a single apostrophe is in the double quote. Join with those cell references. Now I'm going to close parentheses here. And let's just see what this gives us right here, F9. Sure enough, look at that. It's simulated, single apostrophe 1, single apostrophe, explanation A2 for each one of those. So now we have our uh, sheet references, uh, seven different references. Now, uh, indirect function, notice they're text right now. Like it's a string of text. But indirects will convert them to actual references. Now I'm going to Control-Z. We're going to need to, we can't put this directly inside of the weekday, because the weekday can't uh, handle those references. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we have the indirect. It'll it'll deliver those sheet references, and we're going to use the subtotal around the indirect to help get the references into values, so the values can get put into the weekday. All right, so subtotal, subtotal, and this is one of this post. Um, actually, I'm going to select subtotal, and I want to add right. So I'm going to use a nine, or actually, it'll just convert the um, add each one and there's only a single value in each one so that's no problem now this whole if you go read this post uh, I asked Dominique a bunch of questions because I didn't understand what the subtotal was do doing and subtotal is the catalyst it takes the references from indirect and since weekday can't handle them it subtotal is going to convert them from references to actual numbers. Now let's go ahead and close parentheses here. And you can highlight this and F9 and see, sure enough, it's got uh, from an array of references to an array of values. Now that's the little piece that goes into weekday. Remember, because ultimately, we need to somehow have a true or false. Um, a true for Monday through Friday and a false for Saturday or Sunday, so weekday. That's all the serial numbers, and it's an array, comma, and we're going to use our two. By the way, this lovely little drop down uh, is not in earlier versions. Uh, totally awesome new uh, drop down there helps us figure it out. All right, now let's look at this right here. I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key. And sure enough, ah, uh, from individual cells on individual sheets with serial numbers, we have our representations for each day of the week. One is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to control Z. Now that's not going to do us any good either. We need to have a false for all of these. I'm sorry, a true for all of these and a false for these. So I'm going to control Z. And I'm just going to say, hey, are any of you less than six? Because remember, six and seven are Saturday and Sunday. And when I highlight this and hit F9, there we have it. And remember, these trues and falses are coming from these sheets, the serial numbers there. Control Z. Now, that's a string of true and falses. We are going to use some product to actually then add all the values. And actually, I can just remind you right here, I'm going to hit a space there. Just remind you, our goal is we have our trues and falses from each one of these sheets based on these. But now, anytime there's a true here, we need to add this down here, right? Each one of these has a, a total here. So I'm going to come back over here. Inside of the sum product, we're going to uh, use these trues and falses. So I'm going to put sum product. Sum product can't handle the trues and falses, so we have to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. I'm going to use double negative. So all those trues and falses are inside of the green ones. The double negatives, of course, will convert them F9 to zeros and ones. Now, that's an array, and we're going to multiply it by the array of totals from all these sheets. And guess what? Control Z. We're going to have to use the same trick. There's array number one, comma. The array number two, we're going to have to use the same trick to get uh, those references from each sheet into values here, because some product can't handle uh, 3D cell reference either. So no problem. We do subtotal. And we're going to do 9, comma. And this is where we have to do that same trick here. But guess what? Um, this trick right here, 
I'm going to show you a different way. And this second method will only work if you have the sheets 1, 2, 3, to 1 to 7, or 1 to 31. This first method works when you have your sheet names here, and then, then the sheet names could be anything. But no problem. I'm going to say indirect, right? And now, just like up here, up here we had, uh, hit F9, we had our um, sheet reference from each sheet, an array of sheet references, right? We need the same thing down here, uh, but we're going to, instead of typing them in like that, we're going to use this trick. We're going to use row and then indirect again. Now what this is going to do is inside here, I have 1 to 7. And if you have 1 to 31, then you would do this, double quote 1 colon 7. If it's 31, then you type 31 instead of 7 and double quote. Now let's just close. That's This will give us a t um, indirect will convert row 1 to 7 to references for rows 1 to 7. And then row will give us the number. Let's just see what happens if I go like this, F9. Well, that's not what we want. Remember up here in this indirect, we had to have sheet references. So guess what, Control Z? We're going to have to do that same trick. We're going to have to add. Um, double quote, single apostrophe, just like this. But guess what? Remember I told you, if you have no spaces in your sheet names, you do not need the, the single apostrophe. So I'm going to leave that off. But I am going to have to come to the end of this row and ampersand, double quote. And you have to have the explanation point. That says this is a sheet reference. And our uh, totals are in A11, if I can remember that right. No problem. It'll give us an error if I didn't remember it right, and we'll go fix it. All right. So we've joined sheet reference A11. Now let's just check this in right to the row F9. Oh, there it is. Sure enough, um, we got all of our sheet references. And these A11s have the totals we want, Control Z. Now I have to close this off, this indirect right here. Remember, the indirect now is going to give us an array of uh, numbers in evaluating it here. It doesn't show you that they're references, but those are references. Close parentheses on the subtotal. And now when we highlight this, that'll pass the actual values. And those are the values 12, 11, 12 from these sheets. I'm going to Control Z. I could even suspend this just for a moment. Just look, look over here. There's a 12, there's 11, there's a 12. So those were this. Uh, subtotal was gathering up those, if I hit F9, gathering up those totals, Control Z. And now we just close parentheses. That is our second array, close parentheses, and simply hit Enter. And there it is, 51. Those are the Monday through uh, Friday sales only. And you know, when you're doing this kind of thing for the first time, you, you be skeptical. You want to go, oh, I'm going to check this, right? If you're building the template, you want to be sure. So I'm going to say equals. Go over here. No, that one's uh, Saturday. That one's Sunday. No. So I'm going to click there. Click on this. You could see it evolving up here. I'm going to type a plus. Click on the next one there. Plus. Click on the next one. Click there. Plus. Uh oh, did I get that one right? A11, 3, 4, 5, that's right. And then I click on 6, that one, plus this one. It looks good. Enter. Uh, I messed something up. Oh, I forgot on the last one. Watch this. I forgot. So I got the plus. I forgot to click right there. All right, and then I hit Enter. All right, so it looks like uh, our little test worked. All right, that's a little bit about getting. Monday through Friday sales only. In essence, summing with a condition, but the problem was we had uh, different numbers on different sheets, and the subtotal helped us get, in essence, uh, dereference all those references and create values so that uh, weekday uh, and the sum product could handle those. All right, see you next trick.